just wanna be the greatest. Yeah. And I just wanna be famous. Hello everybody, this is Bram here, and welcome back to another command block tutorial, and today I'm going to show you how to make custom bosses and mobs. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and as you can see, I got a new skin. Ender created this skin, and I'm very thankful for that, and I also used this skin to have one of my friends create a logo for me. So the new logo was made by God's Unit. Both of their channel links are in the description below. But anyways guys, with the new skin and the custom skin, I had to switch to my PC. The only downside with that is I had to put the graphic settings on low, so that way I can film and play to make videos for you guys. But yeah, I have to put it on low because my PC sucks, we don't talk about that. But anyways guys, let's get started on this tutorial. Okay guys, this can work with any mob, but I'm using a zombie to show it off or whatever because I know most of you guys make zombie maps. But anyways, you can spawn in a zombie with no name and then put a name tag on him and he gets the boss. Or you can just summon him in with the name and it would give it to him. And it works with the baby zombies as well. But anyways, this is a very simple system and I'm going to show you how to make it right now. If this is a new world for your commands and stuff and you haven't typed these commands in, you want to type this in first. You want to do game rule send command feedback false and you want to do game rule command block output false. You want to do those two commands so that way it doesn't spam your screen. To summon in a zombie, what you're going to want to do is summon zombie the name of the zombie that you want it to be and then the coordinates. So it's really simple to summon in a zombie. The next thing you're going to want to do is actually put the armor and the weapons on the zombie and possibly give them some potion effects. So to put the weapon in their inventory, you're going to want to do um, repeat, unconditional, always active. That's what all these um, repeating command blocks are. They're that. So make sure they're all the same. And then to put the weapon in their main hand, you're going to want to do replace item entity at E, type equals whatever mob you're using, and the name, whatever the name is. So it's going to be custom to whatever you're doing. And then you're going to do a slot.weapon.main hand, and then whatever you want to put in his main hand. And then the next one is for putting it in the helmet slot. So it's going to be slot dot armor head and then whatever helmet you want. And it's the same thing as before. Same thing, but slot dot armor dot chest and then change or I use the chain chest plate, but then you put your chest plate here. And then the next one is slot dot armor dot legs and then your leggings. The last one is slot dot armor dot feet and then whatever boots. For the last one, it's going to be repeat, unconditional, always active like the rest of them. And it's going to be effect at E, type whatever mob, name, whatever name you have. And then whatever effect you want to do, minus speed. And the first number is how many um, seconds it's on for. And since it's a repeat, unconditional, always active at zero ticks, it's just going to constantly give them the effect of speed. And then the second one is the power. So right now I have the power of one for speed. And then the true means no particles, but if you had it on false, that means there would be particles. So, yeah, I always put it on true so the bubbles don't get in the way or whatever. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please leave a like. And if you really love it, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. And yeah, guys, my Discord link is in the description. So if you have any command questions or just want to join the Bram community, the link to my Discord is in the description. So I had a few people ask how to contact me. So that's how you would do that. And anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And this has been Bram, and I'm out. Sometimes I think that I'm unstoppable. Yeah. Ready to go, man. Lock and load. That's right. I swear to God that I could drop you, bro. Yeah, I got a shot and I.